Super Mario Brothers trapped in the perilous pit. Super Mario Bros. trapped in the perilous pit. By Jack C. Harris, illustrated by Art and King Ellis. Oh, for least you like it. Oh, my God, it's a really long book. It's going to take like 20 minutes. Take a passage from the start. All right. A long, long time ago, at some time at last Monday, two apprentice plumbers from Brooklyn, New York, were hard at work. Their names were Mario and Luigi. Mario? Luigi. Ho ho! Then it was, and everybody called them the Mario Bros. In this particular day, the brothers were trying to clean a clogged sewer right underneath the gypsy fortune teller in the shop. And had some magic leaked down from the shop, or maybe the Mario Bros. turned the wrong pipe. Whatever happened, the Mario Brothers suddenly found themselves being washed away through a drain pipe into the warp zone. <laughs> After falling through time and space, they eventually ended up in the magic land of a princess hostel's mushroom people. Since they couldn't find a bus back to Brooklyn, they set up their own local plumbing business to help keep a busy until they could make their way home. You see that little soul? You got the princess? You got the Luigi? You got the Mario? <laughs> <laughs> princess told you was a super duper nice person and a friendly ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom. One day, way down underneath her palace, Mario and Luigi were busy putting plenty of puzzling pipes together in their proper places. Oh, this sure is hard work, said Luigi, but I'm always happy to do work for Princess Toadstool. Ah, oh, it's only hard work for plumbers with hard heads, said Mario. <laughs> Mario, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> my head might be hard, said Luigi, but at least my stomach's normal. I don't eat disgusting stuff like mushroom and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, no, cried Mario, ignoring his brother and searching through his lunchbox. I ran out of fresh mushrooms. I picked there some uh, fresh mushrooms growing further down, and he went to looking for mushrooms, which, as we know, all grow in dark, damp places. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound. Mario was horrified to see evil King Koopa and his Koopa Troopers invading the castle. You see, they the sooner run. And they say there's a super trooper in all these guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God, the purple pot, the thought of Mario. King <laughs> Koopa is up on the snow to the food. What am I going to do? All of a sudden, Mario looked down at his feet and saw the answer to his question. Magic red mushrooms. Eating mushrooms is a very, very dangerous and lets you know which one is a little disclaimer. <laughs> 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 which ones are safer to eat. Luckily, Mario knew that these mushrooms were safe. He knew that these mushrooms had the power to make anybody change into a giant. Oh, now I'm going to scare those Koopa Troopers, he said, as he gobbled down the red mushrooms. After from behind the pipes came a giant Mario yelling, Fee, fire, four, pasta. You better run or I'll squash you flat. <laughs> <laughs> The fighting Koopa Troopers ran screaming in every direction. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. <laughs> but Eagle King Koopa wasn't fooled as easily by fighting as his Koopa Troopers. That's no giant. Oh, that's a no giant monster. He snarled. He has a same accent when I do it. <laughs> he snarled as he waved his hands majestically at his pipes. It is only one of those stupid Mario Bros who are always getting in the way. My menacing magic can squeeze him down to size. Watch and see. Ha 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 ha. We're halfway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Should I keep going? Should I like that? Yeah. Just go back to the rest. Luigi was nearby. After picking flowers for the princess, he went searching for his very romantic, my brother Luigi. He went looking for his bro Mario. Oh no, I knew Mario was taking too long, but I had no idea I was, he was getting into trouble. Oh, 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 wait a minute, maybe I can help. After all, these aren't ordinary flowers, these are magic fire flowers. Yeah. <laughs> 
out from behind the pipe, so Luigi charged with the Goomba Troopers, furiously firing a flyer, fire a power, fire flower, fire flower. Please, a free, a free, please, 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 help me, please, cried the Goomba Troopers. The fire from the fire flower will fry our flesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't get the ready. Hurry, hurry, called Mario. The Koopa Troopers won't remain started for long, and we have to warn the princess. You can see that Luigi is, is undoing the pipe that Mario has wrapped around in here. <laughs> Reaching through the passageways beneath the castle, Mario and Luigi try to escape the Koopa Troopers, but the villains chase them right into a hidden trapdoor. Oh, he falling down a trapdoor. Oh, oh, yow! <laughs> that, uh, oh, that was quite a step, yelled Luigi, as he said. That was no step, you bumbler, said Mario. We've fallen into a trap. How are we going to warn the princess now? While one squadron of Koopa Troopers trapped to the Mario Bros, a second squadron continued up to the castle pipe to Princess Toadstool's throne room. Eek! Eek! Shall I see the princess as the Koopa Troopers grabbed her and her guards? Oh, goodness gracious! cried Princess <laughs> as the Koopa Troopers carried her off. Deep down in the dark, the oh, deep down in the dark. Let us speak there, and their Mario brothers, how rich as they were, heard the princess cry. Oh, help Mario! Hey, what are we gonna do? Uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, uh, called Luigi. My fire flower can't burn us out of here. Hmm, so true, cried Mario. And my magic red mushrooms can't help. It's even too deep for a giant to climb out. Uh, that's funny, said Luigi. The pink station screen seems to be getting louder. Oh, there's nothing funny about that, said Mario. King Cooper's throwing her down here with us. Oh, 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 goodness gracious, said the princess, as she landed on the floor of the peak with a hard thump. thump. King Cooper's coming the door. We're going to run out of air. Oh, no, cried Luigi. King Cooper will lose the castle while we held helpless down here. Even with our magic objects, we can't seem to stop him. Oh, but you can, cried Princess Toadstool, as she noticed the flower and the mushrooms. All you have to do is eat the words together. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never afraid that you're going to turn out well after all. <laughs> <laughs> together. Time to eat, cried Mario. At least he ate the last magic red mushroom. In an instant, he began to grow. Head high by the giant Mario, Luigi carefully aimed the last fire flower at the wooden trapdoor. Oh, it's working. I couldn't have reached it without your help. Oh, and I couldn't have opened it without yours, said Mario graciously. Mario's very nice a guy, very gracious. <laughs> Boom! The fire flower burst open the wooden trapdoor of the perilous feet. Of the sky. Perilous feet. Yes, I'll describe with Luigi, but before two <coughs> Koopas or any of the Koopa Troopers realize what happened, Luigi grabbed his wrench, opened the biggest water pipe he could find. Bye bye, he said as King Koopa and the Koopa Troopers were washed away. That night, a huge victory party. See, they were washed away, we so I had to applaud now. <laughs> Come on, King Koopa! <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, that night, a huge victory party was held in the throne room uh, in honor of the heroic Mario Bros. Uh, uh, oh, what's the matter, Mario? Asked King Jed Kostu. Why do you look upset after your great victory? Oh, oh. I ate the last mushroom to get us out of such a piece. Now, I have none for my mushroom and jelly sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> You know what? Asked Luigi laughing. Oh, oh, oh. I face a hundred other dark and terrible speeches, but I hate to see what's down in the pit of Mario's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Luigi. He's so funny. <laughs> Be quiet, said Luigi. And get me the pickles for the top of my Italian ice. <laughs>